Well, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, welcome to the official press conference to celebrate the start of the 2011 HSBC Women's Champions. It's wonderful to see so many of you. Singapore to really showcase its credentials as the host city. And of course, HSBC has been in Singapore for more than 130 years. And so it's important us, for us also to make this as an occasion as the world's local bank to bring the best in the world to Singapore and have Singapore use this as a showcase. It's, if you like, our public occasion for being the world's local bank, as well as the many, many occasions we take every day across 100 million customers around the world. It will be exciting, too, for the youth of Singapore, particularly aspiring golfers, and none more so than Christabel Go. Christabel is the local qualifier. She won a tight tournament here by one stroke to, to be, get the opportunity to play with the best in the world. And HSBC wants to, to support her in that experience, too. And in fact, we, uh, we are pairing her up with Nicole Castrale this week as her big sister, if you like, to show her the ropes introduce her to the other players and meet some of the uh, caddies as well. And other youth around Singapore will also see this as an inspiring opportunity to see their, their idols play golf. We have the HSBC Youth Golf Program where there'll be a clinic for, uh, for, for the uh, participants of that. And I think Jessica Corda and Nicole are going to be giving them tips. And we also have the, uh, the venue outside for members of the public. But I think uh, aspiring golfers and also non-golfers will find this really an inspiring event. My own daughters, um, I'm going to make sure see these great role models, uh, world world class athletes uh, during the next year, and, and I want to make sure that they get inspired by them. And I think that many of the rest of the Singaporean youth will feel the same way. So HSBC is very proud to sponsor this event. It is uh, the world's local bank come to life, if you like. And you can see that uh, from a business perspective, it makes a, a great deal of sense for us. Because arguably, uh, although some of you may not think banking is ex as exciting as golf, uh, you do get the opportunity, though, to mix the best in the world and get to the next level in the game. And we feel the same way um, about banking as we do about this tournament. So thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy the event. Welcome to our many friends uh, in the media for once again all of the support you have given us over the last four years with this tournament. When we decided um, in 2008 to uh, create a sister event for the HSBC Champions in Shanghai, I don't think any of us could have imagined how quickly this would grow into the world-class tournament it's become. Whatever angle you, you, you look at it from, it's no exaggeration to say that this is a very special week um, in the calendar for women's golf worldwide. Golf is one of two sports that we support globally uh, now. Uh, rugby union is the other. And each sport allows them to, for us to showcase uh, our business around the world, particularly in emerging markets. The HSBC Champions, is, as many of you know, in Shanghai is now a World, uh, world Golf Championship event, and it has been the spearhead for the development of golf in China and in East Asia. But we've also developed uh, and increased our investment in golf globally. Um, and last month, we had a memorable start to our involvement with the Abu Dhabi HSBC Golf Championship, um, which we aim to make as significant in the, in the Middle East as Champions has been in China. In the women's game as well, we are going to be laying uh, greater foundations um, for golf's return to the Olympic Games um, with the HSBC Brazil Cup in Rio de Janeiro later on in the year. And we're also a proud sponsor of, of the Open Golf Championship in the UK um, as, as patron. Um, we see golf as a very uh, an important metaphor, but none perhaps more important than the women's champions, which is such an important um, cornerstone for our investment. The status and stature can be proved simply by studying the role of honor in the four years. If you look at our champions of Lorena, GI, and IE, all coming from that exclusive club of five women to have been rated as the world's top golfer since the Rolex rankings were officially introduced in 2006. If you look at the quality of the performance each one has had to produce, it's no exaggeration to say each winner has had to be on top form and that she has also had to produce some of the best golf of her life to win. And if you look at the quality of the players that have pushed them all the way, Annika Sorensen and Christy Kerr, the runners-up in 2008 and 2010, are the other members of the world number one club. Obviously, this is also a testament to Tanamera, 
um, into the garden course, into the quality of the preparation that goes into getting it ready each year. But right from the very start, the HSBC Women's Champions has been described by various players and LPJ officials as belonging right up there in the highest echelons of the game. At this point, I would just quickly like to thank everybody involved in the tournament who put their heart and soul into making every aspect of the HSBC Women's Champions the best it can be. But I think we should also be thanking Singapore as a whole too, whether it's to you, the media, the staff at the hotels where the players stay, or particularly the fans at the course. It's the enthusiasm and the warmth of the welcome that Singapore gives this tournament each year which makes all the difference. Thank you all and I hope you have a wonderful week. And thank you HSBC for welcoming us back. In my last 12 months I've been in 17 countries and I can honestly tell you that there's nothing like getting off the plane in Singapore. It just feels like home. And I know a lot of people in the room and a lot of people at the tournament or what make that possible. We, um, I probably don't say this to Giles as much as I should, but as we travel around the world talking to other sponsors, we typically use the HSBC Women's Champions as our role model for perfection. And maybe some of you don't have enough of the alternative experience to really understand why, but you start with a city like Singapore, welcoming, supporting, giving back to the game. You add to that, you know, the, the Tanamara Golf, Golf Club, you got a challenging golf course that as people have already mentioned here today, truly brings out you know, the best global champion we can provide. And then you get HSBC, which is uh, a, a, a sponsor and a business partner that can think big and act locally. And it really makes for a phenomenal tournament. You know, we've, uh, we've said it a little bit on stage today, but HSBC is obviously widely recognized as the world's local bank. And the LPJ hopes to be recognized as the world's local tour. And like HSB, uh, HSBC, to be able to big be able to be big, be global, but also really embrace the markets in which we compete. We're proud of being in business with HSBC, not only because of the golf tournament you see, but the development in female golf that's left behind when we leave, and that really is what makes this tournament so incredibly special. So just on behalf of all of us, thank you Singapore, thank you HSBC for being such great uh, business partners. It's, it's one thing to be at a tournament, it's one thing to showcase that tournament on worldwide TV. It's yet another to be in a tournament with people that you not only respect, but you enjoy so much on a personal level. Thank you. Uh, the first, um, I'm very happy to be here again this year. And uh, well, this is such a beautiful tournament. And uh, I have such a great memory from last year in this tournament because I won. And uh, um, I was um, very excited last year and because uh, this is one of my favorite tournaments. Um, so I'm looking for my defending title this week, but uh, um, anyone is going to be a really, uh, um, you know, uh, playing good and uh, uh, very competitive players. So uh, I, I can't pick the, the specific per person, but uh, uh, just uh, focus my game and try my best this week. Very exciting. I feel lots of accomplishments from the last three weeks, last four weeks, and then it's always very happy to be here to play in one of the best tournament on the tour. And then it was. I'm, I'm looking forward to win, the, win this one, and I will just keep working hard and then do my best. <laughs> I went to school for months, and then morning go to school, and afternoon I practice. So I just work a little bit of the swing with my coach, and then get my body stronger, and then that's that's it. And I keep relaxed, and I, I know if more relaxed I am, the more better I play. The field shows it. Uh, you know, the top players in the world are here from everywhere, and. Uh, the, the setting, the atmosphere, the venue, it, it has it all. Um, with a sponsor like HSBC too, you know, they always go bigger and better. And I, I think that that's really nice for us players coming and especially having it here in Singapore. This country is so welcoming to us. And I think we all really enjoy coming here and playing. Um, I know last year I wish I could have played uh, because of all the great experiences that I have had. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm very excited to, to be back and to play Tanamara. Well, um, this is my third year in LPGA Tour and then, well, I'm really excited when I be in number one last year, so, and, well, now in second, I think I really, I still have a good chance to catch up <laughs> Anyway, um, it's the start of the season, so I just want to enjoy, enjoy the play in Singapore and on the LPGA Tour. Um, I think that um, the last couple of years with Mike Juan coming onto the board, I think that we, as a tour, has gotten so much better. Um, 
I feel like people are more confident in the direction that we're going at. I mean, we're just such a great product. I mean, you see all the players on this table right here. Um, so many different nationalities, so many different personalities, and um, we're all trying to go out there and win. Um, it's a game, it's a sport, it's an entertainment sport. So we're trying to do our best. I think that whenever it comes to a tournament, it's very evident that when we all play and you know, the, the race number one is very tight. It's very interesting. It's very, um, people are compelled to watch. So I think that we, we do take, I mean, I think every tech player on the tour takes on the responsibility of trying to make the tour better, um, trying to raise it, trying to get more sponsors, um, more tournaments. Um, but I think that, I think we're doing the right thing. I think, um, obviously it's tough right now with the economy, but I think we have a great product. We have a lot of things to show. And I think um, we're going to get a lot of tournaments in, in the next couple of years. Of their involvement not only play golf but be part of the stories that we're creating outside the ropes uh, you know we're excited to be you know adding new countries this year we're playing china and taiwan where we haven't played before adding new tournaments in the states i mean sometimes you can't affect the economy but the good news is at the end of at the end of any business and hsbc knows this better than anyone and it comes down to your product and whether or not you're competitive in the market and there's never been a problem with the lpga product and quite frankly the more and more we're showcasing that one of the reasons we love this event is it's not only played here but it showed in so many hundreds of millions of households around the world that it gets a chance for us to show what's going on. I had an interview last week where somebody said, how excited are you about the Olympics in 2016? And I said, I'm, I'm excited about the Olympics in 2016, but for fans and media right here in this room, you don't have to wait for the Olympics. We'll start that on Thursday. We're 29 different countries, we'll tee it up, and you'll get to see it. So we, we put on the Olympics every week, not, not a couple of times a year, not three or four times a year. You'll see the best 50 players in the world tee it up right here. And I think that's what really makes the LPGA incredibly special.